Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventure Cruiser. Today we're gonna to talk about the Kenwood VP8000 and how you add features to the radio. Let me give you a situation why I needed to add features. And that was, I have these two, which are similarly allocated, all three bands, meaning VHF, UHF, and 7800 are allocated on these. And this is what I've written my um, code plug for. This one only has VHF and UHF, no 7800. Now, I really don't have much of a need for 7800, but I already have a very extensive code plug written for these radios. Now, Kenwood does something that I don't really agree with, but I understand. They, when you create a code plug written for a radio with all three bands, it treats that code plug as a tri-band code plug and does not give you the opportunity to say, no, it only has VHF files or only UHF. Um, BK will give you, it will give you default values. Um, Motorola CPS will give you default values if it doesn't fit within that specific realm. So I really don't see why Kenwood doesn't do that, but they don't. So the workaround is to buy the features to open this up to an all band radio. And that's what I had to do. So I reached out to one of my local Kenwood dealers. I like Vincent Communications. Scott's always treated me really well there. And um, I was able to buy the licenses from them. Now, it was a little bit of a challenge and Kenwood's system is good, but not great. They have some major errors where when I bought these radios, it was challenging to get these transferred from um, Mojave Repeater, which is where I bought my first one, another guy back in the Midwest where I got my second one, and a guy on the East Coast where I got my third one. All three were willing to transfer it to my account through my vault, but my vault said that my email address was already used. Now, there, is, that's really frustrating for me because it should be as simple as transferring it from one to the other. It, it works that way and so many other things. But I was able to reach out to Kenwood through their helpline and sent them a, um, a chat request, explained the situation, showed my purchase requests, um, my receipts, and they initially transferred all the radios to my one account, which is great. Then I had to ask their help again to transfer the features that I bought from Vincent Communications to my radios. I provided the receipt, of course, but they did it really quickly. These guys have an amazing help desk. I'm really, really impressed with that. So let's talk about the process of allocating features to a radio. So I've opened up Armada. Um, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that in preferences, under server settings, you are connected to your vault account. Then you go over here to tools and this little V symbol, make sure it is connected. It will say disconnect if it is not connected. Now I have this radio connected. It says radio connected here. I'm going to go down to vault. This is my dashboard. And um, we're going to search for the feature. So I don't know if you can see this, but in your own vault, you can. The top number is how many radios have that feature. The bottom number is how many it is not allocated to. So I'm going to select this one. And you can see in my vault, it says one is connected. Um, just to be perfectly clear, I've never done this before. So uh, I'm <laughs> so I'm a little bit uh, add licenses. There we go. Okay, so vault, my radio. I'm doing this blindly. I'm just figuring this out, but I thought you guys would enjoy coming along for the ride. So I'm going to hit add licenses. Now it's going to say that these are the two licenses that are available. I'm going to select both and I'm going to add it to that radio, and I'm going to transfer it to the radio. Please confirm license transfer. I am confirming. Update queued, confirmed. And I think I go back here. Yep. This is, I've never done this, but I thought you guys would be interested in seeing how we muddle through it. Nope. I 
I thought it would just be as simple as saying that it's it's cued, it's ready to go. No license available for transfer. Going to disconnect the radio. Reconnect it. Radio connecting. Here we go. And then the radio says applying update. Write complete. Okay, now if I go back here, Blind leading the blind. Guys, I'm, I'm sorry about muddling through this, but this is me figuring it out on the fly. So what we're gonna do, link to template. Okay, that worked. That was something I could not do early on. So I'm gonna write to the radio. I don't have the GPS enabled on this one, but that is not an issue. The biggest feature issue mismatch that I've discovered so far is simply having one band not enabled. So there we go. Let's see here. There we go, it took it. So it's as simple as that. If I can muddle through it, you can muddle through it. Be persistent, just understand that there is an issue adding features to your vault potentially. And um, it's okay to reach out to Kenwood's technical support. They've been super helpful. I, I'm really impressed. If you guys have a better solution for how to transfer features within vault, I'd really love to hear it. Thanks guys, that's all I've got for you today. Have a wonderful day, bye-bye.